In the wake of Tesla unveiling its crash testing process for the Cybertruck, a storm of controversy has erupted. While the tests unveiled the astounding capability of the stainless steel panels to endure scorching thermal impacts of up to a staggering 300 degrees Fahrenheit, they also sparked intense debates. Internet critics seizing the stage vehemently downplay the vehicle's safety for pedestrians while casting doubts on its suitability for European roads due to its unconventional appearance. What are the problems Cybertruck is facing? The Cybertruck, despite showcasing incredible feats of engineering, finds itself besieged by two critical challenges. First, concerns loom large regarding pedestrian safety, a contentious issue amplified by skeptics. Second, its polarizing design raises serious doubts about its compatibility with European standards, creating a storm of uncertainty surrounding its future in those markets. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing, if you haven't already, and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Tesla's clandestine unveiling of the Cybertruck flaunting its successful internal crash tests during the grand delivery spectacle marked a pivotal moment. This revelation, asserting compliance with federal motor vehicle safety standards, signaled the green light for customer deliveries. Yet amidst this triumph, a stark reality persists. The Cybertruck remains shrouded in uncertainty regarding its safety standing. Despite meeting federal standards, it lacks an official safety rating from the NHTSA, or National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Compounding this void, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety shows no intention of subjecting this avant-garde vehicle to its rigorous tests. The absence of these crucial endorsements leaves a daunting question mark hanging over the Cybertruck's safety validation. Why will Cybertruck safety become the market? its biggest concern. Among the buzz surrounding the Cybertruck's crash test reveal, a chorus of criticism erupted across social platforms, echoing concerns voiced by experts. They lauded its innovative design while sounding alarms about potential safety hazards, not just for those at the vehicle's forefront, but also for occupants within. But does the initial video footage truly support these apprehensions? The frontal crash test, a rare spectacle featuring the Cybertruck hurtling at a standard 35 miles per hour, showcased a collision scarcely witnessed in the automotive realm, save for a select few, notably the Ford F-150. The Cybertruck's radical departure from conventional vehicle design sparked intense speculation pre-launch, with serious conjectures swirling about the absence of any crumple zones. Even as the groundbreaking all-electric pickup truck began its maiden journeys to customers, critics relentlessly argue that its abbreviated front end, exoskeleton, and fortified steel plates translate to virtually no crumple zones a vulnerability that raises substantial safety concerns. Tesla has ventured to elucidate the workings of the Cybertruck's front crumple zone, acknowledging a striking departure from conventional pickup truck designs. Admitting a smaller front absorption area compared to counterparts with larger hoods, the electric pickup relies on its front chassis to mitigate the impact on occupants during collisions. Engineered to fragment into smaller pieces, this innovative chassis absorbs and disperses energy, a feat enabled by Tesla's pioneering welding method for chassis castings. A 9,000-ton press for the robust rear casting and a 6,000-ton press for the front, tailored for frontal collisions with lowered stiffness. Experts analyzing collision impacts on the dummy inside attribute the Cybertruck's resilience to its robust stainless steel shell and formidable skeleton. While conventional steels succumb to shattering at negative temperatures around 300 degrees Fahrenheit akin to glass, Tesla's stainless steel defies this norm, boasting exceptional resistance to corrosion and extreme temperatures, a testament to its viability even in the unforgiving conditions of outer space and the surfaces of Mars, aligning seamlessly with the audacious ambitions of its creator.
Amidst debates about potential hazards for pedestrians and occupants, the Cybertruck's airbags steal the spotlight, appearing to outperform their counterparts, as witnessed in the test when compared to the F-150. They stand poised to be the ultimate saviors in crucial moments, potentially prompting future exclamations of gratitude. This beast saved my face, tipping the scales at a hefty 6,600 to 6,800 pounds, half of which comprises space-grade steel and formidable components in its skeleton, the Cybertruck exudes an aura of invincibility. Encounters with this behemoth might render opposition futile, halting them dead in their tracks. The essence of the Cybertruck's terror lies not solely in its unique design, but also in the larger trend within pickup trucks. Over time, these vehicles have swelled in size and weight, posing an escalating danger to their surroundings. While some criticize the Cybertruck, drawing a line in the sand over safety concerns, it mirrors a broader American fascination with larger, heavier trucks. In a landscape where a regular heavy-duty truck, like the F-250, tips the scales at over 7,600 pounds, and the average pickup truck, like the Rivian, weighs a staggering 7,100 pounds, such hulking vehicles prevail. This American infatuation with mammoth trucks, despite their discordance with stringent pedestrian safety standards prevalent in parts of Europe, remains unwavering. Even those without a genuine need for a truck join the fray, propelling these colossal machines into daily use. What data shows Cybertruck is dangerous for pedestrians? The data surrounding the Cybertruck's potential danger to pedestrians has raised significant concerns. While the vehicle's distinctive angular design projects a futuristic allure, experts highlight a critical issue. The stainless steel plates create sharp, square edges that pose risks to pedestrians. A recent report drawing from IIHS data confirms this apprehension. It underscores the heightened danger posed by trucks and SUVs with high, flat fronts and elevated hoods, suggesting a 45% higher fatality likelihood in crashes involving vehicles with roof heights exceeding 40 inches compared to those with slopes under 30. This revelation arrives against the backdrop of a pedestrian safety crisis in the United States. Fatalities have soared to a 40-year high marking an 80% surge since 2009. Complicating matters further, the automotive industry leans toward larger, more aggressive designs for SUVs and trucks, asserting their safety benefits for drivers in collisions. The issue isn't exclusive to the Cybertruck. It extends across models from Ford, GM, Toyota, Ram, and others, with EV trucks in particular raising concerns due to their added battery weight. However, media coverage tends to overlook this aspect in vehicles like the F-150 Lightning, Rivian R1T, or Chevy Silverado EV. Critics branding the Cybertruck as hazardous seem oblivious to the comparative safety of their own vehicles. Beyond its angular design, the Cybertruck's tilted roof introduces worrisome blind spots, addressed by Tesla through additional cameras to mitigate risks. Interestingly, the NHTSA encourages automakers to adopt more pedestrian-friendly designs with lower, sloping front ends, coincidentally resembling Tesla's approach. A stark contrast becomes evident when comparing the Cybertruck's sloping front to the towering front walls of trucks like the Ford F-150 and GMC Hummer, highlighting the potential for sweeping away pedestrians in the event of a collision. Tesla's design, complemented by an active AI safety system, stands poised to offer superior safety compared to trucks with higher front bumpers. Elon Musk's unwavering confidence in the Cybertruck's safety for both passengers and pedestrians aligns with Tesla's track record. The company's emphasis on a rigid underlying architecture and a low center of gravity achieved by positioning the battery on the vehicle's floor has historically yielded high safety ratings, enhancing stability and reducing rollover risks in Tesla vehicles like the Model Y. Tesla's safety accolades stand as a testament to their unwavering commitment. Across the Model S, X, 3, and Model Y, all have clinched the prestigious 5-star rating from Euro NCAP. Of these, the Model Y shines with near perfection, earning exceptional scores across crucial safety parameters. It's a standout in safeguarding adults, children, and vulnerable road users like cyclists and pedestrians, 
thanks to its robust safety assistance features. Produced at Tesla's cutting-edge Gigafactory in Berlin, the Model Y showcases exemplary performance, boasting a remarkable 97% in adult occupant protection and a nearly flawless 98% in safety assist. This includes perfect scores for lane assist and other safety systems. The Cybertruck 2 features the new in-cabin camera-based driver monitoring system, a testament to Tesla's relentless pursuit of cutting-edge safety. Yet, Tesla's safety prowess extends beyond hardware. They've revolutionized safety measures through sophisticated software interventions. Unique algorithms embedded within the vehicle's software can preemptively intervene upon detecting potential accelerator pedal misuse. This proactive strategy distinguishes Tesla not just in safety standards but in its potential to avert accidents triggered by unintended acceleration, potentially saving lives in the process. The context of the Cybertruck, with its bold design and powerful performance, evokes apprehension. However, it's crucial to contextualize safety concerns beyond Tesla's lineup. Roadways are teeming with a variety of colossal trucks, SUVs, and pickups, each presenting its own safety challenges. Tesla's proactive approach to safety enshrined in their vehicle's very software showcases their dedication to leveraging technology for a greater societal good. This commitment not only sets a new standard in vehicle safety, but also serves as a beacon for an industry evolving towards a safer automotive future. Why wouldn't Cybertruck appear in the European market soon? The safety evaluation of the Cybertruck remains multifaceted and nuanced. While official safety ratings from organizations like the NHTSA and the IIHS are absent, Tesla's internal tests meeting federal motor vehicle safety standards have paved the way for customer deliveries. This signifies that, based on Tesla's assessments, the Cybertruck complies with minimum safety requirements. Regarding market expansion for the Cybertruck, Tesla faces a challenging journey, especially concerning the European market. Apart from the complexities of regulatory approvals and licensing, cultural disparities between American and European perceptions of pickup trucks pose considerable barriers. In the U.S., pickups symbolize rugged individualism and outdoor connectivity, yet Europeans may view them as unsuitable for urban settings and less environmentally friendly. Tesla's marketing strategy would require adeptness in reshaping these perceptions and portraying the Cybertruck as a fitting choice for diverse European lifestyles. Logistical hurdles abound, particularly due to the vehicle's dimensions and weight. In the U.S., the Cybertruck falls under a light truck category, exempt from stringent safety requirements that European standards demand. Weighing in at 6,843 pounds, the Cyber Beast variant surpasses weight thresholds, potentially necessitating different licensing classes for drivers, further complicating its acceptance in Europe. Infrastructure challenges, encompassing differences in charging standards and networks across European countries loom large. Tesla would need collaboration with local charging providers, substantial investments in expanding the supercharger network, and seamless integration with diverse charging infrastructures to ensure a smooth market entry. Tesla's potential expansion into the European market might involve revising the Cybertruck to adhere to European regulations and preferences. This could involve adjustments in vehicle dimensions and enhancements in urban usability features, tailoring the vehicle to fit European traffic conditions. Ultimately, the Cybertruck's safety, though not officially rated by regulatory bodies, hinges on Tesla's stringent internal tests and safety systems. Tesla's pathway to expanding the Cybertruck's market footprint will demand comprehensive solutions that address regulatory, cultural, infrastructural, and logistical challenges unique to the European automotive landscape. The Cybertruck's crash testing has sparked intense debate, with Tesla's reveal highlighting its stainless steel panel's resilience and unique design. However, critics question its safety for pedestrians and alignment with European standards. While the frontal crash test at 35 miles per hour showcased its strength, concerns lingered about potential absence of crumple zones, even after initial deliveries. Tesla's response emphasized the Cybertruck's distinct frontal crumple zone 
zone and innovative chassis designed for energy absorption, yet doubts persisted about the impacts of its robust stainless steel shell on pedestrians and occupants. Despite this scrutiny, Tesla's incorporation of advanced safety features like airbags and the in-cabin camera system offered some reassurance. Still, the Cybertruck's weighty build and its implications for road safety remained a focal point in ongoing debates. The Cybertruck's acceptance globally, particularly in Europe, faces multifaceted challenges, legal, cultural, and infrastructural, requiring meticulous adaptation. However, beyond these controversies lies a story of innovation and adaptation. Tesla's commitment to technological advancements for safer roads could reshape the narrative. Perhaps the true measure of its safety will not solely rest in test ratings, but in the journey toward global acceptance and the evolution of safety standards in an ever-transforming automotive landscape, paving the way for a future of safer vehicles. Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments below. If this video rocked your world, show us some love by hitting that like button, subscribing for more thrilling content, spreading the word, and ringing that bell to stay updated on our latest episodes. Thank you immensely. Until we meet again, stay safe, take care, blessings abound, and happy holidays.